in September. I got a nice letter from John Hughes, who lives Hi. in Abergavenny, the other day, and he said, I'm 78 when Burnley play Swansea in September. Will you be coming to the game, and can we meet up and we'll celebrate my birthday together? Oh, you should go. Swansea's lovely. I used to go there when I was little. I've never been to Swansea to in my life. a tennis tournament in Langley Bay. Did you? Yes. You'd recommend it? I would, definitely. Shall I meet John? Why not? What if he's a nutter? <laughs> Two best match, then. <laughs> Interesting point. Hmm. <laughs> he may be thinking the same about you. <laughs> so you don't know, do you? See, John, might, he might be the nicest man in the world, but he might be a fruitcake all at the same time. Not fruitcakes? It's difficult to tell. Can I? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't decided yet, but if I go, I might invite you to come with oh, me. Oh, lovely. Yeah, but you can pedal the bike the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 69.95. Think about it. Think about it. At that price, Bishop Auckland, Michelle in Poulton Lifflid, Stephen in Manchester, and Winifred. It's filed, actually. I always pronounce that wrong. I always call it Flid. Oh, right. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> Barbara, right, old habits die hard from when I was a child. <laughs> Strange. Uh, in many ways, to tell you the truth, Kiri. Um, 69.95. Still eating worms as well. You used to eat worms. Yeah, didn't you? And suck stones. Right. Yeah, pigs. used to rub the dirt off them first, but then used to suck them. Do you know crow, uh, cows? No, pigs chew stones. Pigs chew stones. That's why horses are scared of them. You calling me a pig? Mm, maybe they grind their teeth on them to make them sharp. Do you think all the pigs know in the farmyard that we're now on uh, Sky Channel Six Five Four? We've There's changed. There's a good chance because I don't think we told many people. It's a bit strange. We've kept it a bit quiet. Well, it's, it, well, it's a secret. When you move in house and you don't want certain people to know where you're going, you don't tell them, right? So only the people watching now do we like. Wrote you a letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. John. John in Abergavenny will be sitting there tonight, going, "Where's that channel gone? What's happened? <laughs> I shouldn't have written to him." I'm going to write to him and let him know where you are. <laughs> Sixty-six. 75. I must tell you about the hedgehog experience in a bit, but I not don't now. Think I want to know, thank you. Not now. There was murder this morning in my garden. I can't, it's bad. Um, oh, buyers in, in Pontefract and Watford. Uh, sick and call. Phone lines are now frozen. Please don't try and call. You won't get anything for your money. Frozen Gems Countdown, or as it says at the bottom of my screen, the Frozen Germs Countdown, which is an entirely different thing. Oh, dear God. The Frozen Germs Countdown, whereby we've frozen all of the germs and we'll count down to the moment where they're unfrozen. <laughs> okay. Um, it's still there. Okay, that's marvellous. That'll be it on its all right on the night. That will, that's special. The Frozen Germs Countdown. Mm. Anyway, that's the piece that we're doing. Uh, that's the piece that we're doing. And this is... Um, oh, good luck. Fingers crossed. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> God for that. This is diamonds, and phone lines are frozen at the moment. This is white diamonds and blue diamond stones that I've got for you here.